Hey guys, so today I have a cage tour video. I'm going to be showing you my guinea pig's cage. But actually, this was filmed previously, so my cage has changed since then, which their new cage design will be featured in my next updates video, so definitely stay tuned for that. But really, I just thought I'd do this video. Um, I thought it was kind of fun, and I don't know, I like watching cage tours, so I thought you guys would enjoy it. So, hope you guys like. Okay, so before I get started with the cage tours, I just thought I'd mention two things. So the first thing is that I'm not going to be showing you the upper level of both of the cages. Uh, there's not really exciting up there. All they have is their hay and some fleece. But I'm not showing you them because it's really dirty. It's full of hay right now. So I'll probably be cleaning it later on today. And since the bottom cages don't stay clean for very long, I thought I'd do the cage tours now. So that's why I won't be showing you that. But if you are interested in interested in seeing them you can always check out one of my other cage tours uh, I think my latest guinea pig cage tour I show you the upper level and probably in the future in the next month or so I will be doing another cage tour so you can see them then if you'd like but I'm sorry I just don't really want to show you guys that right now because it's kind of dirty <laughs> And the second thing is that, I'm sorry if the cage looks a bit dirty, I actually did clean them yesterday, but um, I sweeped them up, and this fleece is really cheap, so it doesn't sweep up very well, so that's why the hay kind of sticks to it, so it's hard to sweep up, but I'm going to get started with the cage tour. So first things first, over here, we have the Living World water bottle and a brick to stand on, and for the fleece, I'm just using a really nice teal fleece that I got from Giant Tiger. Then over here, if you see Truffles is demonstrating, <laughs> um, they have this really cute hanging hay toy, which I just made, and it's made from a Kleenex box, some sisal, and hay, obviously. And they really enjoy this since their hay rack is upstairs on the upper level. Then over here, I have this sushi roll toy, and if you, as you can see, they've kind of enjoyed that. Then I have this Java wood ball. And, as you can see, they also really enjoyed this. They love playing tug-of-war with it. Then, over here, they have a Nut Not Nibbler for Truffle's birthday. That was one of her birthday presents. But she hasn't really enjoyed it much. Um, they're not big wood chewers, but I thought it would be something fun and different to have. And then, over here, they have a loofah. Because a few weeks ago, they destroyed one of these loofahs. But now, I guess they're not interested in this one. And then over here, they have a Tubi Tunnel from Piggy Pig Pigs. And what Charlotte is underneath is this black step stool, which they love as a hideout house. And on the bottom, they have a cage liner, which I got from Pocket Full of Pets. I will be doing a haul on that later on. Uh, I got it actually a while ago, but I haven't been able to edit that um, haul yet. So I'll, that'll probably be up soon, and I'll explain more about that. Um, they have their pellet dish over there, then they just have a fleece over top of the liner because it just makes it a lot more softer and easier to clean. And then over here they have their hanging bird toy, which they love. And then they just have their ramp leading up to their second level. So outside of their cage, I just have this Versalega popcorn and honey stick, which was featured in my latest haul, if you want to go check that out. But they had this yesterday, I gave it to them yesterday, and as you can see, they really liked it. But I took it out today because I didn't want them to eat the whole thing in one, like, sitting. Because it's really sugary. You can, like, smell the honey off of it. It smells so sweet. So I thought I'd just paste them out and give it to them, like, a day each week or so. So they'll eventually finish it, but it just won't be, like, all in one sitting. So up there I just have the 2x2 two two hay section for them. And Toffee just really, really wants out. You want out, bud, don't you? <laughs> Hello. So, I'll start off with their cage. They have a 2x4, which I will be showing you. So, the first thing they have over here is their water bottle, which I've actually changed up. And that'll probably be featured in another update video about all of the water bottle problems that I've been having. Then they have their Himalayan salt and a rope, which they really, really like. Um, the other guinea pig, Charlotte and Truffles, they, like, loved that. That was definitely worth the $2 I paid for it. So it was really cheap, and they loved to um, gnaw on it and lick it and stuff. Then below this, because the water bottle drips really bad, um, my old one that I was using... 
I have a towel plus the Piggy Pig Pig's lap pad, which is really cute. I like the yellow. It kind of helps accent the fleece that I'm using. So, yeah. And then over here I have the Cobb Cabin Crafts Hedgehog Snuggly that I got for my hedgehog. But my hedgehog doesn't really like it <laughs> that much. And um, he doesn't like the fleece on the inside, how it's like so thick. So, yeah, it didn't really work out good. But it works good for the piggies, as you can see. And then I have a hedgehog stuffed animal over there, as well as a white bed and a seagrass twist ball. I'm not going to go over there because it, that'd be disturbing marble. Oh, and if you see right beside marble, there's a purple willow ball. Then over here in this little ceramic dish, I have some hay for Dot because she does not go up the ramp. So, yeah. And the fleece that I'm using, by the way, is just this little zigzag one that I got from Fabricland. But over here, I have this really, really good idea. Because um, I think in... It doesn't really matter if you're in Canada or the United States. You can get these little coconut cabana things. Well, um, these are so good for guinea pigs and rabbits. Um, because they're meant for hamsters and, like, mice and gerbils to run in. But if you stuff them with hay and they can roll it around, it's actually so awesome for them. So I would really suggest picking these up. They're not too expensive. They're, like, $4, and they're really, really fun. So, yeah, that's a really cool toy, and the pets really like them. Then I have just, like, this little wood block. Uh, over here I have a homemade toy that Charlotte and Truffles destroyed, so I thought I'd give it to these guys to destroy the rest of it. And then they have their ice cream ceramic pellet dish. And then over here we have their carrot sizzle toy. It's right there. And then they have their Piggy Pig Pig's burrow bag, which they really like. And then over here we have a whole bunch of different toys. So I have an applewood stick. This is how Truffles and Charlotte destroyed this little loofah bite. That. Um, we have this kiwi stick. We have a little alfalfa bale, and we have this polypop, <laughs> or not polypop, I call them a bun pop, <laughs> which I made for them, and they seem to really like them beforehand, so yeah, it's fun for them. And then over there we just have one of those uh, loofah covered wood pieces, and then we have one of the bent grid tunnels covered with fleece, and one of those um, microfiber drying mats. And above there we have the pillow that says no attitudes allowed. <laughs> so that is pretty much their cage. They just have the ramp that leads up there. So that kind of wraps up my video. I hope you enjoyed their cages because I think they're really cute this week. They don't really match completely, but they're really fun. And yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't show you the upper levels. It's just because they're dirty and they're full of hay. And I don't think they're really necessary for the cage tour because they don't have anything exciting up there. But... Yeah, I'm going to probably be doing a video on my hay racks because um, I had a qu question from Federation83 who asked me like how it kind of works and like a close-up of it. So I'll probably be doing that in the next while. But that kind of wraps up my video. I hope you enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching.